Hello everybody and welcome to Organian's Puzzle Box. Um, in this video I would like to go through running the Petra project that has now been updated to use the Lumen lighting solution from Epic. Uh, this is not using any Nanite or anything like that as of now, but it's just using Lumen so you can see the beautiful, beautiful lighting that we have in the scene. We can actually press left click to move the sun or right click and you can see how the ambient light just changes with this as we, as we do it. It's quite beautiful. Um, this is running on a 980 uh, Ti and it also on an i5 processor. So the performance is a bit, uh, no, it's not, it's not amazing, but it's still amazing. You know, it's still quite good that it works. So if we activate the um, FPS over here, we can see that we're getting, um, you know, about 26 to 30 FPS. Uh, if I wasn't go, if I wasn't filming, this would probably go to about 35 to 40. But this is running on a quite an old card, um, so it's not amazing. Now we could deactivate the Lumen GI, for example, and this will give us a boost in performance. But obviously, this looks very, well, it looks very bad. This actually looks worse than uh, what Unreal Engine 4 would normally deliver. And this is to deal with the fact that we've got the skylight on. So if we deactivate that, this actually looks a lot closer now to what Unreal engine four sort of delivers on very basic standard settings without any real uh, tinkering with but uh, let's let's activate the lumen gi again um, and then obviously give, give it a skylight and this just brings that beautiful look again into the scene so i'm just going to keep going through the level right now holding a left click or right click to change the lighting as you can see, we can turn this into a day-night cycle quite easily. So now it's going to become night time and you'll see the shadows sort of like goes away. I'm not really sure why they dissipate like this, to be honest. I think we should probably do it a lot quicker. But I think it's because of, uh, you know, how quickly the sun actually sets, which is causing this. But you can see the sun coming out and going, you know, coming out and coming up all the way to its zenith. And we can see all the details in here. Now, this entire level was created using Mega Scans. You can download it using the description in the in the. We can use the link in the description below. But bear in mind, you can't actually tamper with this project. It's just a, it's just a build, uh, just a build that you can use. Now, in this uh, particular room here, this is quite interesting because we've got the, all these reflections on the floor. If we deactivate the Lumen GI, this is how this actually looks like without it. If I take the skylight off, then. There's nothing reflected back really from this sort of uh, texture below here. So this looks, you know, okay-ish, but obviously it's, it's got nothing on when you actually, you know, activate L the Lumen GI, which gives it that really nice look and feel. Now, what I want to do is I want to test um, Lumen and Nanite on this um, GPU and processor as much as I can, build the world uh, around it and I think it's going to be a massive balance between what you know working the, on the um, how good it looks but also how well it performs because uh, running at 30 fps is great if you're just doing a cinematic and so on because obviously you can then render in a higher frame rate but you still need that real-time performance to be you know to, to run quite smoothly but definitely a big leap in performance compared to you know a software like Blender, for example. So I'm building a world right now in Blender and just using foliage that moves around is causing massive issues for my performance rate. Again, I don't have the best computer out there, but still uh, Blender is quite sluggish compared to this. And if I would put this amount of, you know, this these assets into Blender at this scope, I'm pretty sure I would still struggle to keep this in real time frame rate on Eevee to look as good and perform as good. Obviously, Blender does not have such a not, such a good lighting solution like what we see in here. Uh, look at that, I've just found an issue in the in the setup of these mega scans. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what you think. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more as I will be releasing more videos on Unreal using this, uh, you know, this, this uh, setup, which is not great, but still just shows how versatile and powerful the Unreal Engine really is. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.